Hello, everybody, and welcome to a very special edition of Extra Time. I'm your host, Greg Lawless, and tonight we are at Nevada Smith, the legendary soccer bar in the East Village of New York, for a very special viewing party for the big New York Red Bulls against Real Salt Lake match at the new Rio Tinto Stadium. As always, I'm joined by Chef Messin, and tonight a special guest, Steve Jolly, former New York defender. Steve, welcome to ET. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to be with you guys. Should be a great night here at Nevada Smith. Now, Shep, this is a big game for both teams, obviously. You know, RSL still struggling. They need to secure a spot in the playoffs. New York barely in the playoffs right now in that second wild card spot. What do you see this one happen? How do you see this one happening? Well, Greg and Steve and everybody here at Nevada Smith, we didn't know when we scheduled this game the importance it was going to have. This is a critical game for Jason Christ and Real Salt Lake, critical for Osario and the New York Red Bull team. I sure. think the New York Red Bull team without Cicero, Rojas, the missing game Richards, I think they're up against the big challenge tonight. Well, Real Salt Lake, of course, right now in third place in the Western Conference. And let's, let's talk a little bit about the playoffs going on right now. It's hotter than it's ever been in MLS. And we'll start out in the West where right now Houston, I mean, uh, you work with Houston a lot, right? The Dynamo, they're unbeatable. They look unbeatable. They, they, they're just playing exceptionally well right now. This is a team built for a championship. They're so loaded. Uh, I mean, you name it, they've got plenty of players coming off the bench who will probably start most of the teams in Major League Soccer. And, and they're grooving at the right time. Any question that they're going to get maybe tired with all of the other games with the CONCACAF Champions League stuff going on? And I think that's the reason why I brought up the fact that they're so loaded in terms of their roster size. I mean, they're giving players to these Champions League games that, you know, usually don't play very much, but uh, are now playing some really important minutes. And uh, this, is, this is a really, really good team. Well, they are good. Now, Chivas USA is actually, though, the hottest team in MLS right now. They're 5-1-1 one one in their last seven games. They seem to be figuring it out even to, when they're missing Ante Razov up top. Oleko Eskandering is scoring a lot of goals right now. Shep, what is Chivas doing right right now? Well, I give Preki a tremendous amount of credit because last year he had the luxury of really playing his starting 11 for most of the season. A couple of injuries at the end of the year, Razov. But, but this year, Preki's had to mix and match. And he's, really, he's had to work. He's yeah. got the best out of, out of all of his players. He had to replace a big time goalkeeper that Brad Guzan all, all of a sudden gone, and now he's going with Kennedy. So everything Krecky's done, it's worked out so far. Can Kennedy get him into the playoffs? I think he can. I like, I like Kennedy. He's, he's athletic. Uh, he, he's, he's, you know, fearless. He's got the job done so far. Well, the rest of the Western Conference, obviously, they're still struggling right now. We also Lake right there in third place, but they're only a point ahead of Colorado and a point ahead of, of FC Dallas. How do you see those three who right now look to be the teams that will be fighting for that third guaranteed spot and maybe one of the wild card spots? It's an interesting question, and this, quite honestly, is the reason why I love October in Major League Soccer. I mean, you, anybody that says they know what's going to happen in terms of the playoffs is kidding themselves. Right. They're kidding themselves. It's going to be exciting. I'm sure we're going to talk a little bit about who we think is going to be making the playoffs. Uh, this is just fun. Every single game is enjoyable. It's exciting. Starting tonight, here, Thursday night, Rio Tinto Stadium. Well, there's a question about Rio Tinto Stadium. Is there a question that Salt Lake will sort of lose that advantage that they have on the turf that they've done so well at home? Well, you know, I still think it's a, it's a home opener. They're going to have a passionate crowd. Sold out. Rio Tinto Stadium yeah. is sold out tonight. A little, little bit, I understand, of a more compact feel, but Jason Kranz is going to take advantage of the ambiance, the atmosphere. The altitude, I still think it's a home field advantage. Not only Jason Price, I mean, you look at that coaching staff with Jeff Gassar, Robin Frazier. They've done a great they're job. Loaded. They're loaded in terms of experience in Major League Soccer and what it means. And uh, in a national TV audience, 20, 21,000 people, they're going to be going. Jason Christ, Coach of the Year, possibly? It's hard not to give to Ziggy Smith. And no. quite honestly, I think uh, Dominic Kinnear deserves more respect than he does. Because when you look at all the, play, the games that they played beyond of what most MLS teams are playing, I mean, he has built this... I mean, they're the blueprint of success right. for Major League Soccer right now for me. Well, you bring up Ziggy Schmidt. Now, well, let's move over to the Eastern Conference, where Columbus right now, obviously, the cream of the crop. They've already shored up the Eastern Conference crown, home field advantage to the playoffs. They're basically there for the supporters' shield. And right behind them, New England, they've already sewn up a spot in the playoffs. The East, after that, though, Chicago, they look set. But then, New York, Kansas City, and D.C., two points separating all three teams. And this is going to be a tight one down to the, down to the wire, isn't it? Yeah, and it's something that uh, 
you know, I'm fighting with. I'm, when, I, when I make my predictions, my, uh, my playoff predictions, that East Coast, I'm not having much confidence right now. DC has got a lot of injuries. New York has been almost pitiful on the road. When you think about 13 yep. games, they've only won one game. That's not good enough in this league. So uh, I'm not having much confidence in that, uh, that Eastern Conference right now. Well, DC is struggling, obviously, Chef. But right now, there's some questions about Tommy Stone. Is he on the hot seat? Does he keep his job? What, is, what does he have to do? Does he have to get D.C. into the playoffs to keep his job? Well, let, let me comment first about the East in general, then Tommy Sloan and D.C. United yep. in particular. I think we all, in the beginning of this season in Major League Soccer, the, the, the new playoff format has been unbelievable. And I think in the beginning of the year, the way the East took off, we thought maybe five teams would come out of the East. Now it's looking flipped around, hasn't yeah, it? It's looking the other way. Now, now I may be in the minority. I, I, I believe in terms of Tommy Sloan, there can't be a knee-jerk reaction. Too often, right. we're, we're quick to fire the coach, blow up the team. Siggy Schmidt in Columbus is a perfect example. He had a plan. They didn't do well. This was his third year, and finally he's got it right. Tommy Sloan, lots of injuries. Gallardo has been a disappointment. Yep. Moreno, Fred, Emilio, injuries. I don't, I don't. Point the gun. I don't think they're going to make the playoffs, but I think you keep Tommy Thorne. I think you keep continuity. Well, I think the injuries have certainly not helped at all. They have some tough games coming up in the last three games. They're playing all three of the playoff teams, Houston, New England, and Columbus, the three teams that are already in. Can they get any results? Can they? Do you think with all the injuries they have, no more Fred, no more Gallardo, Emilio Hurt, Moreno Hurt, they also have to play the CCL games. Can they push through? No. I no. Really, I, there you go. I feel bad, and I think I, I agree completely with you because I think Ziggy Smith is a wonderful example of that. I mean, you look at the successful teams in the history of Major League Soccer, there's ones that have consistency. Right now, I don't want to do to D.C. what has always happened to the New York franchises. You, said, you just ship them out, change the, right. you know, change the rosters. It's not healthy. And if you look at helpful. D.C.'s track record, it's always been about consistency. It is, and that's the reason why they've had success for so long. Right. And they've and, also uh, struggled in goal. I mean, Zach Wells didn't get a job done. Clayton really started out okay, but, but recently, with, without a goalkeeper, you're going to struggle. Right. It's now time for the three of us to get to our predictions, and we're going to be predicting a little bit differently, actually. Who is going to make the playoffs this year? We looked at all the games that are coming up, and we've decided who's going to win, who's going to tie, who's going to lose, and we came up with our standings for the rest of the season. So, Steve, you I'm are going to go first I'm to up. decide who makes the playoffs and who doesn't. Especially with this crowd, they're probably not going to be too excited about it. But, uh, <laughs> well, Steve Jolly, obviously, a former New York defender, we give him a lot of credit for coming out here in front of his former fans in New York. So uh, I think you better have some real... Real hot spot to come out and do this one. This is my prediction. I'm, I'm, I'm moving the Real Salt Lake team, who I think is going to win tonight, to be honest with you. But I think they're going to lose the next two games. So they're going straight down. And I'm just going to move these teams up. Colorado, Dallas, who I think has the, the easiest uh, schedule for the rest of the year. With, uh, you know, Salt Lake and everything like that. Salt Lake comes down. Then uh, we're moving this over. Moving this over to New York, so I'm not. I'm saying here tonight. Wait a second. You got New York not, out of the playoffs. I'm saying right now, New York is not going to make the playoffs. Oh, it's a very bad. Oh, wow. Wow. Very bad. Oh, Let me explain. Let me okay. explain why. Explain. Let me explain why. This is a team, like I said before, who's won one game in the last 13 on the road. They now play Real Salt Lake in a new opening of the stadium, which I don't think they're going to get a good result with. Then they go and play at home in Columbus, but Columbus is playing exceptionally well. Then they got to go on the road to Chicago. I just, they're not giving me much. I want to have confidence in my New York team, but they're not giving it to me. Chef, what do you think about this? Are you okay with it? Obviously, Chef Messing. They love him here. They love you here, Chef. They love you. You're going to set us right. Uh, you know what? Unfortunately, I can't help the Red Bull crowd here. I bleed Red Bull. I'm sick about the inconsistency. I don't understand how they could be up one game, down another game. So I, I pretty much agree with, with my man, Steve Jolly. I've got Dallas up here. I've got San Jose up here. I've got Colorado here. Well, here's my problem. I, my heart is with them, but... How are we going to get it done? I mean, I, I don't know. So I'm going to leave it like this, but if we get a result tonight, I'd then throw this out the window. I think Red Bull will be in. All right, all right. Well, somebody has to set them straight on this one. 
LA, I agree, maybe we should leave them down there. But I'm gonna put Colorado down here. They're not gonna make the playoffs, sorry to say. I'm gonna put San Jose down here. But, oh wait, they're not gonna make the playoffs either. And I'm gonna put Real Salt Lake up here. After they get a win tonight, they're gonna roll on the rest Whoa! of the season. Okay, right. no. Patience, everybody, patience. Now, we're gonna put that there and we're gonna sort of move these around a little bit. You got your four teams here. Toronto, terrible. Kansas City, struggling. DC will actually turn it around because they're DC and they have lots of pride. I would like everyone to notice the Red Bulls in the playoffs. And I, I will also like to point out that um, our good friend Shep Messing in the beginning of the season predicted Kansas City to win the Eastern Conference. Just to point that out. But for all you Red Bulls fans, trust me, they're going to make the playoffs. Believe me. So let's see how they do tonight against Real Salt Lake in the first game at Rio Tinto Stadium. With all the emotion here tonight, this one's underway. McGee put it up there, the header, blocked in front, Stanford scores! Oh, and the yeah. third grade, Stan Brandenburg, seven of the air. Got it down, and a goal, it's time! Oh, Lava gets it. That's going to do it. The first game in Rio Tinto Stadium. There's the final whistle. 1-1 Real Salt Lake opens their new Rio Tinto Stadium with a draw against New York that keeps them very much in the playoff race. Actually, both teams in the playoffs race. I think it's a result that neither team wanted, but it keeps them both alive, so they're going to take it and run. Look forward to next week. Well, Next week, that's all the time we have tonight on Extra Time. We would like to thank everybody here at Nevada Smiths in New York. The Burrow Boys for coming out, the Red Bull fans for coming out, and of course, Steve Jolly for joining us here. Thank you very much, Steve. Appreciate you having me. Well, we'd love to have you back anytime, and we had a great time tonight, and we hope to do this again. Don't forget to catch ET next week, where we will be breaking some news about some of the new expansion teams. So join us, and we'll kick it around.